Hey guys, my name is Rybro, and welcome back to the last time. <laughs> now, I think it's morning? Good morning? Um, uh, we're, we're out looking for new leads because I don't think last night's drinking party didn't really happen where I m actually met Jason Lee. Uh, no, I, d I don't think the TV's gonna tell us that that's news, so. Anyway, we're going to, uh... What oh, guys, hide. Oh, this is the house? Oh, this is the old house. Why are we here? Ah, oh, the old hat rack. <laughs> was, is that thing still gonna be there? Why? Oh my god. Buddy, he's still alive! Uh, oh, was that a nightmare? Good morning, how are you feeling today? Much better, head hurts like crap. I wish I could say all of them, because that that, that that pretty much explains the nightmare that I had. My head hurts like crap. Uh, my head hurts. Eh, feels blocky, it's pointy and stuff. My head's hurting from getting hit last night. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's my fault. I feel awful about that. <laughs> so emotional in my voice. I just need some more time to rest. As long as I stay and relax, I'll be fine. What? Well, it's just, I was thinking we could go on another mission today. To, uh, to kind of steal something from a police station? You're joking, of course. <laughs> just hear me out. Okay. Foster is a convinced felon. The, the police will be keeping a record on the database of his address after his release from prison. Sir, we're not going to break into the police archives and get that information. It's impossible. We don't need to get into the archives. Everything's on the computer now. And you have one of those. As long as I can access any computer at a police station, I should be able to get into into the network. Uh, sounds like a good idea. <laughs> sounds like a good idea. If we find his address, we find Foster. Awesome! I knew you'd think it was a good idea. This is so exciting. <laughs> I'm Stanley from <laughs> SpongeBob. Uh, exciting. This isn't a game. Calm down. This isn't a game. <laughs> Fourth wall jokes. Uh, they're all negative, though. What? Is there a yay button? Uh, exciting. Is that what you think this is? Yeah, I mean, well, no. Sorry, that came out wrong. It's just... It's just what? Well, it's... Ah! It's just my voice is a little hurting. And I'm seeing that if I say stuff that I usually wouldn't, if that would make my voice better. But nope! <laughs> Jax, I turned 20 a few weeks ago. Happy birthday. <laughs> Balloons in your face. Thanks, but it wasn't. It wasn't a happy birthday at all. I started thinking, great, I'm not a teenager anymore. But then I asked myself, what am I doing with my life? Nothing, that's what. Every day I get up, go to work, come home, sometimes buy a plastic arm, and waste time on the internet. Repeat. Over and over. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> when you care, when your care home was on fire, well, this sounds really bad, but it was the most interesting thing that I've experienced in ages. Me too. <laughs> it, it was. And I'm working with you to try and get to the bottom of it. I don't know. It just feels like, for once, I'm doing something useful with my life. You know how that feels. He, the, the character doesn't, but I do. <laughs> you do? Yes. I've spent the last few years sitting around in a care home. i would pretty much given up on life. I'll admit, it feels good to be doing something again. Besides, I was young once, too. But I still am. I just have a beard. Thanks, Jack. You know, you're pretty cool for an old guy. I know. <laughs> At the police station. So all I know is we're going to try and find new leads. Okay. Here's how it's going to go. You distract, you distract the police officer while I look up Foster's address on her computer. Shouldn't it be the other way around? I'm not a really good <laughs> distraction. One look at me is just... Eh. Uh, what else is interesting? <laughs> uh, okay. No. <laughs> no, Sarah. I'm not ready. 
Poor Jack, I understand. This must be all very overwhelming for you. Let me give you a helping hand. <laughs> hey, miss! This old man needs your help. Is there a problem, sir? Uh. <laughs> what's the time? I'd like to report a crime. I can add stuff to this. I'd like to report a crime. Certainly, sir. May I please take your name? Uh, Kensington Humbleworth. <laughs> no, you can't take my name. Who do you think you are? <laughs> uh, my name is Kensington Humbleworth. Thank you, Mr. Humbleworth. What's the nature of the crime you're reporting? Uh, uh, <laughs> and it was indecent exposure. Someone re revealed inappropriate parts to me in public. That's sexual assault, an offense we take very seriously. Could you please describe the perpetrator? Uh, short and hairy. <laughs> he was, uh, short and hairy. Okay, that's a good start. I I'm gonna register your report on the computer so we can proceed. No, wait! What? Blah, 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 blah. I love you. <laughs> Urgh. What's wrong? Urgh. Urgh. Actually, I'm fine now. False alarm. <laughs> well, you've been lovely. Thank you so much. But we gotta go. <laughs> I'll be off. Oh, I'll be off now. Your drop box is full. Oh, that wasn't part of the thing. Upgrade now for one terabyte of space and sharing features. No, bye. Does she have no arms? <laughs> Wait, I left? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> I still can't believe you did that! I don't see what's so funny. <laughs> well, it's just, I don't know. I have, I have to keep it, keep it going. I've got to admit, you actually had me worried for a second. <laughs> oh my god, I'm crying. This is too much. I don't see any tears. Liar. <laughs> well, I'm glad I entertained you. And everyone else. Did, did you find the information on Foster? Hmm? Oh yes, of course I did. His current address isn't that far away. It's in London. We could go there this afternoon. Fine, but what are, you, what, what are we going to do once we get there? Well, if he's in, we can confront him. And if not, he's not, we can break in and look for clues. Shouldn't we leave this to the police? What would they do? When you were a policeman, would you investigate something just based on a civilian's suspicions? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you were a police officer, did anyone come up to you and, and say something about sexual assault and then uh, fake a heart attack? <laughs> like, what would you do? Good point. <laughs> right, so you ready for this? I'm ready for revenge. I want justice. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I couldn't beat Foster the last time we met, and I don't think I can beat him now. It's different now. You gotta, you've got me on your side. Prepare yourself, Jack. Who knows what we'll find when we get there. Hmm. But oh, okay, if that thing is in the way. Am I gonna be having like more nightmares about uh, about like uh, my partner like scaring me and stuff? Wonder how he's gonna fit in. Well, here we are. <laughs> Indeed. Remind me. What's the plan again? If he's in, we can confront him. If he's out, we can look for clues. Right, let's hope that he's out. Are you in, or are you out? Wrong answer! Spider-Man. Hmm, it's locked. Well, now we have to try our best. <laughs> What'd you expect? Oh, doorbell. We have to be nice, like we did at the start of the game. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just, this reminds me of something that happened. A long time ago. Oh. <laughs> That's trespassing. <laughs> well, actually, uh, if you're going to go through a window, go through that one. That that one looks more precious. Uh, be careful. I mean, it's a window, it's glass. Be careful, Sarah. Thanks for your concern, but I'll be fine. Not, no, not that one. It wasn't locked. 
And apparently that side of the room is <laughs> is uh, uh, not on, and the other one is lit up. <laughs> that window lies. Who is unlocked? Wait a second, Sarah. I'm going in. Ah! Sarah! I do oh. Jack, you need to see this. Oh, the thing's moving. What is- is that a rat? It's only a cat- oh, it's a cat. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> when I heard you screaming, I thought something terrible had happened. That's not what I was screaming at, Jack! Yeah, I- I randomly teleported. <laughs> I didn't- I, I didn't go through the window at all, I just teleported. It was dark for a sec! This is unexpected. <laughs> you don't say! We should have a look around, find out what happened. I'm going over here. Hi, cat. Hi, kitty. Nice kitty. Ah! I'm dying. Help me. <laughs> I'm so ugly. People think I'm a rat at the first sight. Who's going to take care of it? Oh, can I take him? Soft. <laughs> It's not how you pet a cat. Jacket. Put the jacket on the cat, maybe it's cold. I found a used tissue. Gross. Yeah, I know, right? Don't worry, I'm not taking it. I've got one up my sleeve already. Ugh! Why? Get it out! How long has it been there? Mm. The drawer is locked. Okay. Ah, oh, it's his tail! Okay. It's not gonna talk to me. Uh, this is a pretty window. It's a beautiful day outside. <laughs> it, not really. For me, it's. Well, it, it was raining this morning, but it was like I don't know. It's it's okay. Uh, whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> I didn't know him to expect to see him so frail. It's a, that's not him. What are you doing? Doing what I do to every object. <laughs> Doing that. Checking his pockets for clues. Find anything? No. Just got a bit of blood on my hands. Ew. I should wash wash that off. <sighs> umbrella umbrella stand. <laughs> Aha. Find something? I found a key in the umbrella. Cool. That would have been useful to have before I climbed in through the window. I don't know. It looks too small for a front door key. It must be for something else. Is it the key to the cat's heart? That's all you won't talk to me. Um, knife? Strange. You'd expect there to be a spatter of blood from the wound, but it looks like it just pulled around the point of entry. It's as though somebody slowly pushed the knife into his chest. Gross! Not suicide, then? Definitely not. Huh. Any idea of the time of death, Sherlock? I'm not trained in f uh, forensics, but I'd say he's been dead for a few days, at least. They haven't made jackets like that since the 1970s. Never goes out of style. What have you say? Then why aren't I wear? Oh, the desk key. Perfect, the key fits in the drawer. Yay. Hmm, there's something here. There's something here. It is inside. <laughs> what have you found? What have you found? It's a diary. Let me have a look. Oh, please don't let y you read it. I don't want to read in her voice. I want it to be in an emotional scene. Okay, let's see. Wow. What is it? It's It reads, wow. <laughs> uh, dear, dear diary. I've been in prison for, for a few weeks now. Every day feels worse than the last. <laughs> your, your reading voice in your head is always different from like out loud. <laughs> Every day feels worse than the last. I kept thinking about what happened. How it could have gone differently. I didn't plan to shoot him. I just panicked. And now I'm going to be in prison for a long time. Maybe the rest of my life. So this played out like it did in the beginning. Where, where like, I could have shot before. But the guy... The, the guy who had uh, my partner, he shot him. And then in the dream I had, hopefully it's a dream, his eye was, like, all bloody and stuff. 
So he shot his friend? So he could... So the bad guy could, like, go away? Is there more? Yeah, um, let's see. There's a lot of stuff about prison. How afraid was he? He was. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> this is the part... This is the part where he's been released. I can't believe I'm out now. Everything feels like a dream. Or a nightmare. I thought that maybe once I'd served my sentence, I'd be able to let it go. But I can't. I moved into a little coll cottage. It used to be my mother's. She's gone now. There isn't anything for me to do but sit here. Think about the past. Wow, that's kind of sad. Imagine living your life like that. <laughs> Stop. What's the last entry? Let's see. Dear Diary. I've got a phone call today from someone asking if I was... Uh, what is it? It stops there. A page has been torn out. Does that have to do with the phone call I had? Uh, huh? I think we've seen about everything worth seeing. Time to leave before someone catches us here. Is someone gonna be there? Not yet. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, he's still there. Wearing purple. Yeah, he wore purple when we started. <laughs> yes. Okay. Shouldn't we call the police or something? What? I thought you didn't want to get the police involved. That was before we found a... A dead body. We gotta call them or what? Uh... I, I really have, like, I need to wash my hands because I have blood on my hands, so don't call them. I'll call him later, after I wash my hands. Let's put some, put, uh, let's put some distance between us and the crime scene first. I agree. I'll call them on my way home. For now, let's get out of here. Oh, God. What a day, huh? Yeah, you could say that. Do you think whoever killed Foster is the same person who set the care home on fire? Maybe. Maybe. So, someone could realistically have a grudge against both of us, but the methods are very different. Do you have any suspects? Uh... uh suspects? Uh... Colleague. It could be an old police colleague. I wasn't popular with everyone at the station. Foster even less so. Huh. Maybe any other ideas? Family member? Might be a family member, someone who blames Foster for me and uh, and me for Darren's death. Darren, that was his name. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Well, my grandma's dead, and Darren didn't have any siblings, so the only family members left are my dad and me. And my dad may be a cop uh, a complete arsehole, but I don't think he's a murderer. <laughs> it could be your dad. Your asshole dad could be the butt stabber. <laughs> I don't know how that makes sense, but it's the same thing. Maybe it was you. Oh, I, d I don't want to put this all on her. I don't know, but she acts so innocent. Could be your dad, Sarah. I wouldn't rule it out. I'd be really surprised. Anyway, it's late. I'm gonna go to bed. We'll do some more research tomorrow. Good night, Jack. Could I go on your computer? It's a no. <laughs> it's, it's the same end and start. Oh, God. Like, that house resembled this house so much. Oh, is this another dream? Maybe. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, it is a dream. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh. Gonna be up there. Eh. It's a nice picture. <laughs> I looked at that last time. I'm not able to now. Oh God. Hmm. 
Uh, ah! Sorry, it's windowed mode. Who is it? That's looks like there's a storm coming. What? Okay. Wait, who is it? Look at Jason Lee. Okay. <laughs> Hi, door. <laughs> Strange. Is she not in, or is she just really sound asleep? Oh, it's this door. Oh, come in, officers. Oh, hello. Uh, how can I help you? We have an arrest warrant for Mr. Glover. Uh, Mr. Who? <laughs> I don't want to say it's me. Mr. Who? Please, don't mess around with us, Mr. Glover. We know who you are, and it's not your best interest to lie to us. Yeah, he, he kind of said Mr. Glover like he knows who I am. Whoops. We have a warrant for your arrest. What the hell's going on? Mr. Glover, you are under arrest. What? You're being charged for arson in relation to the attack on your care home on Wednesday. Jack? You do not have, any, have to say anything, but it may harm your defense if you fail to mention one question anything you... When, to when questioned, anything you later rely on in court. I'll cooperate, officers. Jack, what's going? These officers are asking me questions. I don't want to miss them. Um, that thing's gonna be okay. I promise. Sir, please come with us. Two months later. Oh, I'm in court. Please take your seats. The trial will continue shortly. I just wanted to thank you again for choosing me as your lawyer, Jack. I've never defended someone in an in hours of trial before. Oh, no. <laughs> I, di I didn't choose you. You were assigned to me by the state. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> well, I hope you're as happy to have me as your lawyer as I am to defend you. This has all been a great learning experience for me. Okay. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> Glad you're my lawyer. Thanks, Jack. That means a lot. It really helps my confidence. Okay, good. You'll need all the confidence you can get after your terrible performance today, Herb. Give me a break, Larry. I'm doing my best. Well, your best was never good enough, was it, Herb? I've been better than you ever since you were at law school together. We were at law school. Shut up, Larry. Leave him alone. <laughs> I, I put my finger up every time he talks. Thanks, Jack. Silence in the court. The prosecution will now make its closing argument. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, over the course of this trial, I have demonstrated that the defendant is a cold-hearted arsonist. And you're an arse. Face! <laughs> Uh, wait, he said it was a... Objection! Objection! I don't think you were allowed to raise an... Oh, yeah. What the, did you say? Order in the court! Thank you, Your Honor. As I was saying, I have demonstrated the defendant is a cold-hearted arsonist. No pun intended, folks. <laughs> it's my content, Shun, that the defendant, ungrateful for the care he received, set fire to the only place he could call home. The firefighters who attended the scene discovered that the fire originated in Mr. Glover's bedroom. Police have ruled out the staff and other residents as suspects, meaning that Mr. Glover is the only person who could have started the fire. I'm shot! <laughs> uh, order in the... Okay, I know. <laughs> See how the defendant loses control of his temper? What more proof do you need? Oh, no. I will now call upon a witness who will prove that the defendant, uh, defendant is a violent man capable of committing such a crime. Will Josephine Pinkerton please come to the witness stand? 
Miss Pinkerton, how would you say you know the defendant? I know Mr. Glover very well. I was his primary carer for years. We used to be very close. I won't say anything. <laughs> I don't know her. <laughs> and how would you describe him? Oh, he's a horrible man. On the day of the fire, he broke out through the front doors of the care home. Why did I add in video files? They're all against me. Why did I do that? Well, she wouldn't give me the button. Objection! Broke the front doors, you say? What a horrific act of violence. Who knows what other monstrosities such a man is capable of? Yeah, like I'm saving save a life. Willard. Thank you, Miss Pinkerton. You have been most helpful. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, that concludes my argument. I sincerely hope that you will do the right thing and find Mr. Glover guilty. Thank you, Larry, for that very dramatic conclusion. This <laughs> is not dramatic at all. The court now calls upon the defense to make its closing arguments. Oh, is my time. This is my time to shine. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, uh, I stand before you claiming that the defendant is innocent. <laughs> Objection. <laughs> no. I hope you will find that Mr. Glover is a nice old man, incapable of setting fire to his home. <laughs> but don't take my word for it. I've seen a few character witnesses who will testify that Jack is a decent human being. Watch it. <laughs> I'm more than decent. For my first witness, allow me to introduce Grace McLeod. Oh, the old lady. I, t I talked to her. Miss McLeod. It's Miss McLeod, dearie. Indeed. Miss McLeod. How would you describe your relationship with the defendant? Ooh, that's up to him. Jack can have whatever relations he wants with me. <laughs> I mean to say, what do you think of Mr. Glover? He's just scrumptious. He can be a naughty boy sometimes, but I don't think he'd set the care home on fire. He wouldn't want to hurt me. Yeah. Intriguing. Surely this testimony clears uh, Jack of all wrongdoing. As if this wasn't enough, there's someone very special I'd like to introduce to the jury. Willard Kepthorne. Oh, please say good things. <laughs> Mr. Willard, the defendant saved your life, is that correct? Yes, soldier, that is correct. Extraordinary. You must be very grateful to him, am I correct? No. No! Hmm. This man clearly isn't fit to take the stand. Don't you have any proper witnesses to present? Forgive me, Your Honor. I have just one more witness. Sarah Price. Miss Price, how do you know the defendant? I... I only met him recently. And what impression do you have of him? Look, he's complicated, but he's a good guy, okay? I saw him risk his own life to save someone. He's a brave man. He even took me clubbing with him. He's cool. D explain what clubbing is, please. <laughs> he can't be responsible for the fire. He's a good person. Excellent. Thank you very much, Miss Price. I rest my case. I think that went rather well, don't you? Uh, say nothing. Yeah, I do. I did a good job. Or, you did a good job. You really think so? That means a lot. I really boost my self cop Silence! Silence! The jury has returned from their verdict. They were unable to reach an uh, anonymous decision. I have decided to accept a majority verdict. Eight of the twelve jurors found the defendant. Oh! Woo hoo! In your face! <laughs> I'm sorry, Jack. Silence! I sent Mr. Glover to 20 years in prison. Plus one extra year for repeatedly interrupting court procedure. I did that once! I'm sure I'm not the only one that interrupts you. <laughs> Objection. Oh no. Could I die in prison? Oh. oh no! Get a move on, inmate. Your cell's down the corridor. Okay. I'll get to that in the next episode. 
I... I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Me and my loud mouth. Uh, but anyways, gotta say one more loud thing. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. This series is, is still going strong. I'm still uploading. And I really love getting into the story. Uh, last episode, I really enjoyed this. And it's... And things just turned downhill for the worst. Like it did at that party. <laughs> But anyways, thank you all so much for watching, I love you all, and I uh, hope to see you on the next one. Or I hope to see you in prison. <laughs> Bye for now, or I grow up. <laughs>